Hello, everyone. Welcome to us back to the YouTube channel, back for the next episode of Ted Lasso Season 2, Episode 4, the Christmas edition. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Hope you're enjoying the episodes yourself. Let me know down below in the comments all the videos you'd like to see on the channel. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. Leave a like if you're enjoying the videos. And, of course, comment uh, anything else you'd like to do. Uh, spoilers ahead. I enjoy. This was truly a brilliant episode. I think this is my most enjoyable episode, and it's because of the development of relationships we've had in the last <laughs> 13 episodes. Everything season two has meant up to this point. You know, you know, they're in the championship, they're struggling, you know, Roy's role, Jamie's role, Keeley's, everyone's role, basically. And the way we got to see different people spending Christmas in this episode, you know, there's no Nate or Coach Beard for most of the episode. Ted was watching um, It's a Wonderful Life and then open presents with his kids. You had Higgins, who was welcoming footballers from, you know, from Richmond uh, with his family, opening gifts and just being a gene general, normal and brilliant family. But the highlights of this episode was Roy, Healy and Phoebe, you know, dealing with the whole breath situation, which was brilliant. He is, the both their reactions to the breath was hilarious. You know, Roy was like, oh, Fe Keely, show a bit of respect. She's already having a bad time. And then obviously he does it and obviously realizes that she's um, possibly dying, his words. Uh, but yeah, this episode and this hunt for a dentist was one of the highlights of the episode because not only did we know there was a bully, but she was also having a, a mouth issue. But when they found the house with the person with the dentist in, you know, they tried to fix her, they prescribed something, and oh my god, the connectivity of this show is fantastic. The Uzzy guy was there, the person who wants to keep taking pictures of people with Ta with Ted and with Jamie, and now with Roy, who told him to basically go fuck off. But they all took a picture near the uh, Christmas tree together, which was a wonderful moment, but it did not end there because I loved the love actually um, <coughs> scene that they basically replicated in this when she confronted the bully and basically um, wrote all these cards about being better, otherwise you have to deal with X and Y. And it was a very emotional, very touching moment because Roy's development's been fantastic. Phoebe's been an enjoyable character. And I love that this kid was sort of, you know, when he's in front of obviously crowds, he um, feels like a bigger person. But when he's in front of these people who you know, want him to apologize. He obviously felt guilty, apologized, and the fact it is it ended on a Merry Christmas and him apologizing. It was a brilliant moment. Roy and every scene or every person he touches just makes it better and more efficient, I think. Um then you have all the stuff that obviously connected with Ted being picked up by Rebecca and they went all around giving gifts to people who didn't get gifts. They wrote letters but then they got all the presents that they had supplied for them, which I thought was a fantastic thing for Rebecca to do. It showcases that Rebecca is one of the heart souls of the series. Her kindness outshadows her bitterness towards her husband and the way she tried to run the club in the first season. But again, you get to see these two come really close and be really good friends and the possibility of them having a relationship in the future. Again, that's not being showed because obviously Ted obviously slept with Sassy. You know, obviously Rebecca slept with someone. She's trying to see someone every now and again. But, you know, I feel like there's something there between the two of them that I think we will see in the later stages of this season. Um, and then for it to end on Higgins and Street, for them two singing outside, and then all the footballers and Higgins and the family to walk them outside after eating and spending a brilliant time together. I think it was a perfectly crafted episode. You know, of all that, you know, the whole um, Roy bit, I think it was well, well put together. I absolutely adored this episode. Jamie, I don't think, was in this episode from a, a, what I can remember. As I said, Nate wasn't, and neither was Coach Beard. I thought they may have came together at the end, but I found it brilliant how obviously they brought the musicians who they tipped early in the episode to the street. And it, again, her voice is magnificent, brilliant. And again, I think that's because obviously she's done theatre, so she's quite familiar with singing to a good standard. So yeah, another brilliant episode. And everyone loves a good Christmas episode. Christmas is my favorite holiday of the year it's so magical and so brilliant it brings together everybody and it just goes to show this 
this show isn't just about football. It's about the off the pitch with the family and friends and the vibes and the connectivity that we've seen this family build over the past 14 episodes. It's been fantastic. It's been brilliant. And I'm looking forward to the midpoint of the series. So do stick around for that, of course. Subscribe and like as always if you are new. And I'll see you in the next one. As always, goodbye. Thank you.